a, a huge accomplishment for a player is, is um, being an ultimate teammate and, and how, you, how you make players better around you. And Robbie has done that. He's made our whole clubhouse better. He's changed. He's helped change the culture uh, of our team. And uh, I can't thank him enough for that. When you walk through the clubhouse and you see the names Rutschman, Henderson, Stowers, guys acquired the first year that, that you were here, and now to see them all share a clubhouse, a lot of other guys have been acquired. I mean, is that the start kind of sea change? Is he sort of the fruits of this all kind of reach the Who, together? Are you talking about Robbie? Or Rutschman, Stowers, um, and Henderson, guys who have been acquired over these past several years. For them to all share a clubhouse and, and be at the majors together, does that feel like a bit of a sea change for both you and the, and the organization? Yeah, it just shows you that uh, we have uh, some young, talented guys that uh, got to get, got here right about the same time, and and uh, really talented. And you know, it's it's been a lot of fun to to blend uh, these young guys with some of the guys that have been here for a few years, but also some of the guys that that are like Robbie and, and Jordan Lyles both have 10 years in the big leagues, and then Odor's got nine. Like these type of guys that have been around for a little bit, they've blended extremely well with with the young, talented guys that we brought here through the system. When the winning streak, when your 10-game winning streak started, you guys were 23 games out of first place. Now you're eight and a half games out of first place. Has the AL East, has the AL East surprised you, like with the, Yan you know, with the Yankees struggling as, as much as they have? I think, I think every team goes through, most teams go through, um, Different ebbs and flows of the season, and I think the Yankees are obviously are still extremely talented and really a really good team, and might be just in a little bit of a funk. But there, that's a that's a really good ball club. It's uh, it's not. I mean, nothing really surprises me. I mean, I, these teams in this division are really good, and we play each other, and so it's it's that's challenging, and um, it makes us better too for me. You know, I think that the past few years of us getting kicked around a little bit and playing the schedules that we play have made our young players better. Uh, and so I think that the you know the division is 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 tough, and and um, you're not gonna it's not gonna be easy for anybody to to roll through it. But I mean, is it crazy to think that you could you know make up you know make up even more of that more of that ground with the teams playing each other? I don't think it's crazy. I mean, we're, I think we're, if you look at our last three and a half months of baseball, it's, we've been playing pretty well and played them well. So. Brandon, what stands out to you as like the major difference from the last three and a half months versus the first month and a half? Oh, there's a lot of things, but um, I think conf I think our guys' confidence level obviously has gone way up. Uh, especially the guys that have been here for a while and been in kind of uh, had a, you know a lot of losses the last the last three or four years and and um, didn't get off to a great start and we got you know we got better with Rutschman obviously in a lot of ways and that's kind of when our team started playing a lot better baseball um, but our pitching I think our pitching is a reason, big reason why why we're sitting here and talking about this. Honestly, is the our pitching numbers have really vastly improved, um, and I think those guys got confidence and just it's for me it's it's about our team came together at the right time, uh, started playing good baseball together, and then they believed they could win. Game or a series that kind of sticks out to you is like when you look back now, like okay, that was kind of a turning point for you. Uh, yeah, uh, St. Louis. We won that day game. Baker started. It's 127 degrees. We had a bullpen day. We're in St. Louis trying to win a series and. Uh, no Lopez and Batista got the and Mateo makes the play in the ninth and um, to win that series in St. Louis me no, me more than anybody knowing how hard it is to win a series in St. Louis uh, for me that was a, that was a great accomplishment and kind of I don't even I honestly don't even remember what we did after that I've had to look back um, it feels like a long time ago but uh, that's when I you know 
we went in there and, and, be, and, and won that series for me, that was like, God, we, could be, we got a chance to be, pretty, to be pretty good. You think of one day you may look back and also look at that the Stowers two strike <laughs> home run is keeping you guys pushing forward? I think whenever you have a, a you know a, a good season, a special season, there's there's moments in there that uh, you win some games that maybe you didn't in the past, and and um, some guys came through in, in enormous spots. And and Kyle's moment that's that was uh, that was enormous. Uh, it, was a, it was to win a, to win a series against a good club, uh, and being such a young guy, you know, two strikes, you know the. Odds are definitely against us at that point, and for him to to d go deep against Hendricks, that was a that was a really cool moment in our season. What were the uh, reports on Tyler Wells yesterday, and what might be next for him? Yeah, so Tyler pitched extremely well. Uh, he felt really good after. Um, he'll be making more than likely uh, another appearance down there. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it might be in Norfolk. I'm not sure wh where he's going to go from from there, but. Uh, um, he's going to make. He's going to throw a side here. His next side will be here, and then we'll make a decision on what we're doing.